Hey y'all, I am here with a new kit and we're gonna be painting today. So this one is a really cool one because I figure that the kids can do this one while the adults do the other pineapple. So I've got the kids pineapple with Happy Summer. You can also use this Happy Summer um, if you don't wanna put it on the, the kids pi uh, pineapple. If you get the adult, the 18 inch, you can put this on that one too. But um, we've got two this week. We've got the little 12 inch. This is great for kids or really any ages that just want to kind of do something. The other one is the 18 inch pineapple. That one is more or less for your door. Um, we do include this rope and this stencil in this package. You've got six colors. Now this one, we're also going to kind of blend a couple colors or mix a couple colors. I'm sorry. So go ahead and get started. Once you get your kit, open it up, turn your box around so you can paint on this side. And we are gonna get started. All right, so there are a couple things you need from the house. If you didn't purchase our paint sets, get a paint um, brush. You're gonna need some water and you're also gonna need your paper towel or regular towel, whatever you're using to dry off your brush. You don't have to wet your brush the first time. Um, you, have, you do have to wash it between the colors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the top. So I'm going to start off with a purple. All right, so I kind of went low right here. I'm just gonna fix that real quick. I'm just gonna run a line right here. You do not have to have this perfect. All right, now we're gonna outline the pineapple before we do the stencil. So do this before you do the stencil. Kind of grab some black. You can use this with any brush or paint pen. I'm doing this before the stencil because the stencil can go over it. So it's kind of natural.
Okay, so now we're gonna do the stencil part. So you're gonna see your stencil in your box and you're gonna also see this dabber. This is what you're gonna use to paint over your stencil, okay? So there's three parts to the stencil. There's the get grid line, there's the transfer tape, and then there's the black stencil. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take the grid line off of the sticky black. So if you pull it like this, and this is sticky, and this isn't, you're doing it the opposite way. So put that back, you're gonna take it, peel the black sticky, and the soft, smooth white, that's how you're gonna do it. So just take it very slow, you can lay this flat on your surface, and you're gonna peel this up slow because you see what happens? Sometimes the little, I call this little boo-boos, just push it back down. Sometimes the middle of the letters get caught up. See, there's another one. So before you go any further, just push it down and roll it back, okay? This one's pretty easy because it's small. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your stencil on your pineapple. Place it however you want it. I don't know if I want it. I think I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, so if you have a credit card or something you want to do this with, you can. Just take it and smooth it out really good. Start from the center and work your way out. Make sure it's centered. It's so hard to see with this camera in front of me. All right. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're just going to take the white, the, the, um, the see-through white off. So you're going to take it off. You're gonna roll it back slowly, and at this point, your your vinyl or your um, vinyl stencil is not going to be sticky. The sticky part's gonna be down, so it's gonna be nice and smooth, and your white's gonna be sticky now. So now you're just gonna roll it back, keep going till it's off. I'm gonna do white. I'm pretty sure it'll look really cute with this green on here too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna load the makeup brush. That is way too much paint, way too much paint. So you're gonna dab it until you get about like this. So you see how wet this is? Make sure you can see it. See how wet that is and see how dry that is? That's the consistency you want to put on your stencil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda dab. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna paint like this. We're gonna go up and down in an up and down motion, okay? Just go up and down. You're gonna keep getting a little more paint at a time. So you see how I still see my paint color? That's okay. That means that I'm going on really light and that's what you're supposed to do. Now my first, my first layer's on. You can take your hair dryer and you can blow dry it off. So I forgot to say this at first. You wanna make sure your whole background of your, your pineapple is dry before you put the stencil on. You don't want it wet at all. So if you're gonna use the blow dryer, make sure it has cool, a cool setting because you don't wanna get this hot. If you get this hot, it's gonna stick to your pineapple and you'll never be able to get it up. So this dries really quick. You don't need necessarily the blow dryer but that's an option if, if you want to um, use it. All right, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do my second coverage. I'm just gonna keep going very lightly. Again, just keep dabbing a lot of that um, a lot of that paint off of the sponge, you don't want to put a lot on here at once. You want to just continue it to do it lightly. This is my third time, and this was two. So the third time I like, you kind of see the background through, um, but it, you'll be able to really read what it is. I'm gonna sit for a minute. It doesn't have to be completely dry. We actually pull it before it's completely dry. But just make sure that it, the coverage is like you want. Make sure you didn't miss any spots. All right, so what we're gonna do, 
So we're gonna peel it off. Just take it and just kind of peel it off. So I'm just gonna grab that right on the edge of the stencil where the stencil was left. All right, and there you have it, your happy summer pineapple. Oops, sorry, your happy summer pineapple. And this is a great project for any ages, but we do have a bigger pineapple. So really you can do this as a mommy and me project. The moms can do the bigger pineapple and the kiddos can do this one. Um, the happy summer can also fit on your other pineapple. So if you don't wanna use this on the kiddos pineapple, just take it and use it on yours, but you can't use it twice. There's no way for you to use it twice. So it's either one or the other. All right, y'all have a good day.